Checking the base for this pitching machine. Now this is a prototype. This is something you need to build so that you can figure out how you're going to build the permanent one. Now the one that's shown in my other video is all metal. And I, I welded the two, the uh, bottom plate and the back plate which holds the motor. <clears throat> but uh, before I did that, I made sure that the angle that's going to hold the bottom wheel is going to be in the right position for the motor. And I'll show you that later. But right now, we're cutting the side pieces for the uh, tire, the bottom tire to go in there. This is, the bottom tire is going to be stationary. So this is the one. It's, it's not too critical, but you do need to get it and I am and I am gonna have you it's just for your own prototype so that you can get it right because you may want to fabricate something out of metal and this way you can have your own measurements to go by alright now what I'm doing now I'm cutting these two or excuse me the four side pieces that the wheels gonna mount to the bottom wheel I'm cutting a slot in the bottom part this is going to be the part that's going to mount to the base and now we're going to cut the top piece that these two are going to bolt together and the other one is 23 inches Okay, now we need to cut our, our rod that's going to hold the bottom wheel, and in this case it's 12 inches. Okay, we got our bolt through there. We've got the nuts on that side, got the nuts on this side. Let's tighten everything down. We have to mount two coming up to hold the top tire. Alrighty, I got my pitching machine all put together. The only thing I'm lacking is I'm waiting on the motor to come in. But this is only a prototype and you can build yours any way possible. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to get the dimensions, halfway dimensions, because I don't know what kind of tires you can find. These are from Harbor Freight. And you only want just like, just enough air in them just to keep them from deflating. Maybe a pound or two at the most. I mean, as you start this thing and start to use it, you'll know exactly how much to put in there once you get it together but in any case the frame of course my original one was all built out of metal and everything was welded this one is just like I say a prototype so it's just got some lumber and brackets and mostly it's all bolted together except for this washer that's welded on the end of a piece of all thread okay so the bottom part like 31 inches the upper back part approximately 26 inches okay that's the wood frame the only only problem you're gonna have with the wood frame is uh, even though you'll be able to take it here to the ball field or whatever you're gonna have to get something to keep it from jumping around once a ball gets in there because it is pretty light which is a good thing alright the uh, angle to put the first tire on it's 14 inches from the base 
So all of these are all 14 inches and that's for both sides. This is just some angle iron, bolted angle iron. And you want to bolt this to the frame, the bottom and the side top. And then you've got two, two side pieces. These are strictly just keep everything, everything together without it moving around. You've got nuts to hold the wheel in place, a nut to hold it to the frame. Then you've got another nut in there to keep the wheel from moving in and out. Then you've got your your brace here, and a nut on the outside of it. And this is the one that goes to the upper wheel, which we'll look at here in just a minute. And the same thing on this side. Everything's bolted up. And uh, I would suggest using lock wash, uh, excuse me, using lock nuts. I would suggest using lock nuts to so that nothing tries to uh, move around these two upper braces. Now you don't really have to make this adjustable. I mean it's good if you, if you can, but it's not necessary because once you get it set, these tires are just barely touching. You don't know what angle these wheels are going to be at before you put your motor on there. And I am still waiting on the motor to come in. It's probably going to be a few days. Maybe a 1750, 1140, a uh, small, you know, something that doesn't turn very fast. Now you can get, once you get yours built, you can use these two adjustments to move that tire at the top in or out as a, as the throwing out balls you can move closer to the machine to where it's getting to the batter quicker which means the speed is going to be quite a bit faster I've got this brace down here that's just to kind of hold this bottom thing from moving around because I'm using such thin metal. I mean everything should be 3 sixteenths or, or bigger angle iron. This part here is just a piece of pipe in a pipe so that it will you know twist one way or another. I mean it's not going to be twisting that much. It's going to be twisting very little so it doesn't really matter what kind of slop you got in here. This is the part I had to weld. I had to weld this washer onto this all thread. I mean, I know you can find some some brackets that has a, a hole in it that you can thread on to your uh, all thread. Other thing too that I'm going to do, I am going to mount a gasoline engine on here eventually. So in case you want to take it to the park or whatever, you don't have to try to figure out where to find a, a battery or something in case you... Okay, let me... Uh, Alright, now I'm going to show you the, uh, the pulley and the... Uh, well, I'm going to show you the pulley... Okay, now we've got this one, Now we'll need to drill a 5 8 hole, well half inch or 5 8 hole depending on the spindle of your motor, but for right now, we're, not, we're just going to do a half inch. So what we'll do, we get a block, cut out whatever size you need. Depends on how fast your motor's turning. Get your pulley. 
I drill four holes in there. You can drill as many or as less as you want. Put some screws in there because there's really no no really weight on this thing. Okay, and then when the motor mounts on here, Uh all -oh, threads not very straight, but that's okay. You kind of get the idea. So we'll wait and get our motor in here, and then we'll fire this thing up.